What's going on everyone? Deejus here. It's been a while. Uh, thank you for all your patience, but I got an absolute banger of a game coming up. Uh, I'm joined today by the one, the only, Tor Dread, the new self-proclaimed king of the fog. How you doing, Hello. man? I'm doing good. Uh, yeah, so Tor Dread is one of the up-and-comers in fog. Well, way beyond that at this point. Number one in fog at this point since Go7 is not active. Go7 is doing his annual retreat to harness his powers, so he's not currently active right now in fog. But right now, Tor Dread is basically taking over the entire ladder. So I thought, what better way to come back to America than to play the strongest FOG player that's currently active and get myself whooped and learn from it. Tordred, tell us about yourself, man. You're one of the mystery players that suddenly just came from 900 to 1,000 and now all the way to 1,500. What's yeah. your secret? So uh, I'm a longtime strategy game player. Uh, I've been playing the Civilization series for probably 15 years now, uh, four years more competitively in a multiplayer aspect mm, okay. um, before my Advance Wars time. Yeah. A little bit more hectic, uh, you know, a little less strategic and more about, you know, the minute to minute, you know, moves and having yeah. a good intuition. So, uh, but a lot of the factors and how you play both games are pretty similar. So when I found Advance Wars by web about four months ago now. Oh, a new, uh, new crop of player. Yeah, I, I'd only played like Wargroove, like, oh, yeah. briefly, um, for like a month or something, I played through the campaign, uh, and a friend recommended me this, and they were like, oh, here's a video on like all, all the COs do, and it happened to be a Deegis video. So, really? Are you serious? Yes. Oh, I'm my serious. God. My first, I had never seen Advance Wars before, and then I saw the Tier 4 DO video oh, that wow. you made. We didn't, you didn't. Tordred didn't tell me this during our prep for this video, so I'm caught <laughs> off guard and flattered. Uh, that's awesome. I had no idea. And now, man, is a theme for me, it seems, is I have these videos and people get better and then they surpass me. I don't know if you play like Fire Emblem, but yeah, I've I, feel like, Fire. I feel like Marcus. Like, I'm good at the beginning, and then all the other players surpass me at the end. I teach them how to be good and like, you know, lead them in, and then they just are all better than me. I feel like a Jagan character at this uh, game. But, uh, you know, I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting to keep relevance. <laughs> Deploying yeah, a later still map. Pretty, you're still pretty damn good. Uh, uh, you know, I think our, our, our current record, am I like two and four against you or something? Two and three? I know you definitely uh, have the lead. Yeah, um, I think it's pretty close because I had a couple pretty poor showings. I know we had, I had one creepy crawler, though. Yeah, that was just pretty uh, poor for unfair me. one. There. Yeah. Yes, but uh, the other one. What was it Olaf versus Olaf that you ended up? It oh, was yeah. a massive slugfest. Uh, Olaf versus Olaf, yeah. You don't want to bring an Olaf uh, war to me. I'm, I'm no. used to that matchup. But uh, damn, that's awesome. All right, so uh, basically for this map we agreed to do tier one, um, and we agreed that I would be Hawk, and Tor Dread would be Von Bolt. Um, Basically, those are the most relevant COs on this map. I mean, Sturm has some uh, good use here. You know, you can put your infantry over the mountain in one turn instead of uh, taking up two movement. But overall, and Javier, like, the tower's too contested, so typically it's either Hawk or Von Bolt. And Sasha has some playability as well. Uh, this map, by the way, is called uh, the Static. It was in the Global League rotation in the fall, I would say. So right, George, you said you joined in, like, November? Or something? Uh, about December. December. I think that was like the very end of when they had the static in the rotation. It's going to come back though, so I hope you all pay attention and learn some stuff about this map because it'll be back eventually and then you can whoop all your friends and uh, even challenge some of the toughies on the ladder. Anyway, I think it's time for us to face off against each other. I have my notes about you and I'll share it with the audience. I don't want to give away my game plan, but I have one ready. Yeah, you'll, so, need, you'll need a pretty good game plan. I, I know I will. So, And this is a live match. We have time. Uh, give us a pretty decent amount of time this time. I know the Go match, that one, the Go 7 match we had uh, a few months ago, that was three hours and 30 minutes long. I edited out an hour and 30 minutes of this match. This match is going to be shorter. Just knowing how Tordred plays and that we have the live controls. So, hope you all are ready to buckle in. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the game with Mr. Dread. It's time to bust out, break through that pipe seam, and let's get to Mr. Dready. All right, so, a few notes. Tor Dread, I didn't tell him to his face, he's a tank guy. This guy doesn't build recons. He goes crazy with the tanks. Like, I had a game with him, like, yeah, he didn't build a single recon. I built, like, two or three, and he didn't build a single recon. Uh, and he's like, and I was like, dude, how do you see everything? He's like, oh yeah, recon, they just take up funds for my tanks. Like, he's a straight tanker. I don't know what the term is, but this guy knows his tanks. Uh, so I'm expecting a, an all-out tank blitz. Uh, I was going to do my APC opening anyway. Uh, just no fear. I think it's just a very strong opening. I'll show you guys. It was in my transport video as well. Uh, so if you guys have seen that video, you know how it goes. I'm going to do the middle base transport uh, boost, so the APC will coming from this one right here. Uh, let's see, uh, which one do I choose? Let's do this one. Yeah, so... Tordred is very, uh, very aggressive. Much more aggressive than Go7. He's... It's a tank blitz. That's basically how I can sum him up. He's not as good as larger maps, n as good as at larger maps because... Tanks take a longer time to uh, go to places. Recons are typically better in larger maps because they can get to the front lines faster. So when I did beat him, it was on larger maps. Well, not Creepy Crawly, but uh, one versus one Chosen Reservoir, huge map. I had recons, I don't think he did. And I was able to see so much more, get my units more intel, etc. So this is a semi-large medium map, so it's not like crazy, but you know, it's uh, it's good enough where I can probably give him a run for his money. Um, okay, so hopefully I know what I'm doing with this build. No, I don't, because I should have broke that first. Okay, so first, uh, Cardinal Sin. This is live for you. Live, you're going to make mistakes. I I'd like to pretend that I did prep, but I did zero prep. I just remembered vaguely the video I made. Uh, back in November of 2021. Um, yeah. So, Tordred's gonna go all out blitz. I'm gonna need to probably kick the APC opening, then stop him, put all my forces up here, let him have this side, just go strong side, take over this side. The middle is gonna be tricky. As a Hawk player, I also want this game to draw out. So, if we have equal properties, I'm all for that. I do not want Von Bolt to be able to take advantage of a, uh, of a longer game. Okay, so now I build the APC. Man, I completely bungled that opening. Okay, whatever. Whatevs. Okay. That seems right. That seems right. And as you guys have probably noticed, there is no handicap this time. When I was playing Ghost 7, there was a handicap, and that's part of the reason, probably a huge part of the reason why I beat Ghost 7. There is no handicap this time. We're... I'm, I'm expecting to lose. Let me just put it that simple. I'm expecting to lose, but you learn a lot more when you lose than when you win. Uh, a lot of my games I lose. Uh, I like to think that I'm one of the best YouTubers in showing my losses. A lot of people like to show their wins before their losses, and I think I'm pretty good at demonstrating that it's not all about that. Um, yeah, I completely don't know what I'm doing with this. I'm going to pretend that that's right, and then, yeah. Yeah, that seems right. And then this one here. Um, yeah, I think I understand. <laughs> this APC opening is bonkers. I should have definitely looked at it before. But, you know, Tordred's also confined by the live as well. He'll probably make some mistakes. Uh, we had a live match before for the live league. It was Drake versus Drake. He beat me on that one pretty badly. I think that was our latest match. No, no, no. We had another match where he beat me max versus max. Yeah, he's beaten me a lot recently. I, I had a pretty good start, though. We were 2-2 uh, two and two at one point. But, uh... He is, he's, like, machine learning AI. 
he just gets better and better. The more inf games he plays, the more intel he gets, he gets better and better. And I'm just Marcus and Fire Emblem 7. Uh, probably forgotten by chapter 20. So, we'll see though. I've got the, uh, I've got the old man hidden power. So, taken for granted a few times and I've, I've, you know, pulled off some pretty big upsets. So, uh, I wouldn't put it past me. Let's see. Uh, I think this goes here. That goes there. Oops. I think this is a semi-decent chain. Uh, I kind of want to go in this middle one, I think. Because that's more contested. Yeah, let's do that. Go for the contesteds first. I'm a little scared. Yeah, I don't see him doing recon, so... Damn, I must have messed... I thought I would have enough for a tank at this point. Eesh. You know what? Cardinal Sin, baby. Base skipping. We in it. We in it now. I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. I did a base skip. It's not even day seven yet. I'm a bad, bad boy. Am I gonna am I gonna pay for that? Well, we'll see. I'm a bad boy. Hope you guys like my new mug. I mean, by my new mug, I mean my girlfriend's mug. It's her. I'm at her apartment. It says "Hey Boo." I don't understand that stuff. I think of the Mario Boo every time I hear that. But to each their own. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I just want to take over all three of these properties. He'll probably get this one over here at the top. And then I need to get these two right here. These are going to be the hardest ones to hold, probably. And maybe this one, too. So basically, like, I think he's going to go hard on this side or hard in the middle. I, yeah, he's probably going to go hard in the middle. Tordred doesn't split fronts is another thing about him. He goes all in on one. Like, nothing. Maybe not even one infantry on the other side. Like, he literally goes all, all out. Like, it's it's nuts. Insert Mr. Planter Peanut thing there. Um, oh, yeah. I, it's not bad. Okay, yeah, I think I figured it out. I think it's working. I think I messed up with this tank thing, but other than that, I think I'm pretty good because then I get these two properties and this guy who finished capping is going to go and go over the mountain. So I think I did a pretty good job actually. Yeah, you're... We're good. Not 100% great, but we're good. I'll get that property, no problemo. Yeah, I'm glad I went for this one actually. It makes more sense. Uh, no, I need to get that damn property. Um... Yeah, so, little known fact, I think Hawk is actually my favorite CO uh, as a kid. Like, I like Olaf. He's probably one of the best for his tier and stuff, and I use him the most. And I think Flak is the most fun to play. But I think Hawk is both. He's very good, and he's fun to play. Bla like, Black Storm or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, Black Wave, one of the two. I just love that superpower so much. When I was a kid, I would always choose Hawk. Um... So, that's out of the bag. I'm sorry. I love Olaf and all, and I love Flak, uh, character-wise, but, like, oh, what the hell? He's busting out the arty. I know that was just an infantry attack. But Hawk, Hawk's up there for me, man. Global damage. You can't go wrong with global damage. It's all about the global damage. Why do you need to think about when to use a superpower when you can just press a button and it doesn't matter when you use it? You know? Food for thought. Okay, this little boy, girl, it, anthropomorphic animal, needs to go to this spot and capture this property. That is my mission. Maybe I'll hook this tank in a bit. Give the old hooker. That's that's how it was, you know, it's known by colloquially the hooker. And uh, this one go over here. Does the blow? The blow on the hookers. Um, I should click that box on YouTube. This is not for kids. Okay, there you go. 
through there. Oh shit, no, I did must muck something up. I don't know what I'm doing. Um... Yeah, we're aggressive. We're fierce. We are f No, but I need to... Mm, you need to... Mm, yeah, you. this guy will get it. It's cool. This guy will get it. We take turns here. We're symbiotic. You... Go here. See if he got any intel. I didn't expect. I think he's all out on this area over here, so I just need to get that middle. That sweet mittel. And this one can go up here. For all I care. Uh, now's the part where I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I should get an artillery and blast that out. Hold down the fort here as long as possible. I feel like Tordred's gonna go all out offensive, but he's not gonna meet much over there, so... You know, I need a stall again. I think I'm gonna bust the Artie out. And should I get a recon on the defensive or the offensive? If I can control this mountain... Do I need a recon? He's gonna have so many tanks over there, recon's gonna be useless. So I think I'll build a recon on my offensive. Artillery here. Blast that thing, just smithereens. Capture that before I attack, make sure I always do that. A lot of times I just blast things before I even get to capture my comm tower. It happens more often than I like to admit. And I like to admit it. So it happens a lot. Um, Yeah, should I go temporarily middle just to ensure I get this? And then I can zoom up there. I kind of have to decide if I'm going middle or side. Um, I guess I'll just see what Tordred does. I need that property too. He can take these three. I need to take these three. Even properties, like I said. Even properties, I'm happy. I'm a hawk. I'm a happy hawk if it's even properties. I just cannot allow him to have an income advantage. Because my superpower, you know, Stolly game, worked for me. I mean, Tordred's not going to allow a Stolly game. Let's be real. He's nuts. He's like, he's something else. He's one of the most aggressive players I've seen. That's why he's very entertaining. He's like, goes very intuitive. I mean, I'm sorry, goes very calculated. And I'm intuitive. But Tordred is like both of us combined into one. Where he's like more, in, he's better intuition than me. But he's at goes level. It's, it's weird. You have to see for yourself. And if, if you play Advanced Wars by web, you've probably seen for yourself. If you played him, you probably lost. Because I think he's got like an insane win streak. He's beaten everyone. Um, I think his only loss recently was to Hogat on Vandalism, which is a tricky map. Uh, I've lost on that map to worse players. I'm not saying Hogat's worse. Hogat's pretty damn good. Uh, but I'd like to see a rematch between those two. I'm wondering. Hogat, Tordred, and Go7. Top echelon. After that, probably like me, can't buy. Who else is there that would I? There's like this Chinese dude who I'm beating, but he beat me before. He's pretty good. I'm probably forgetting a whole bunch of people, and I'm, I apologize, but those are just the first things that come to my mind. Uh. And then there's the players that, like, could be really good if they wanted to, like, in Fog. I think Hompelmon is good in Fog, too. I have a game versus him. Or no, I did, but it ended as a draw. Um, he's probably really good in Fog, too. So he's probably up there. Let's see. Am I feeling... What was it? Juicy? Feisty? Or feasty? Or beasty? I, I don't remember what I said eight months ago. Forgive me. Okay. Should I get Vigi... I don't want to go on the, if, I, if he wasn't on both, I'd go on the offensive, see if he's attack, and I'd probably attack, like, from the, uh... Okay. Coast is clear. You little bastard. Alright. I'm not letting that little sucker get the best of me. I'm feeling whatever the hell that is. I don't even know what it is, but I'm feeling it. <laughs> Uh, feisty beasty weasty. See? Oh, it didn't even matter because I don't even have my artillery out yet. You go. Hmm. Probably gonna want to put that recon like in this forest or this forest. Yeah. 
maybe like, yeah, so I can enter the cap. All right, I need to get that property. That's what it comes down to. Um, I hope, I, he doesn't have an artillery, so I'm kind of scared. He's probably gonna have more tanks than me. He's, get, he's storage ready, he's gonna buy 20 billion tanks. Um, well, okay, I can build tanks too. I could build, no, I can't build a B copter, can't afford it yet, I need 18,000. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Uh, they're about. Uh, probably want to build my tank from here. I could invest in a mech too with this APC. All right, it's gonna come down to the battle of the middle base. I think I'm ready for it. I think he's gonna attack with the tank, attack with an infantry, put a tank on top or an infantry on top. That's what his typical thing is. Like he'll attack. He is guaranteed to hit KOs, two infantry's on an infantry, uh, because he has 20% offensive firepower, virtue of uh, it's 10% day to day and also the comm tower. So we'll see what he does. I. Don't see him not interrupting that. Yep, tank, infantry on top. Probably put something in a block for my attacking him back. Yes, I kn freaking knew it. Oh, okay. And this is not a favorable trade for me either, because then... Okay, no, he does have an artillery. Okay, so that lets me know that I do have a fighting chance. Freaking Von Bolt. Little bastardy Bolt. He's slightly on my side of the map. I swear, if that one property bleeds me dry, I'm gonna... I'm gonna turkey nail it up. And I know half of you don't want to see that. So. Man. Freaking... Well, I'll put a recon here, so... Because I doubt I'll have a tank. I'm just gonna put everything in the center. So I'll put this stinky little recon over here. Maybe I can take over that property. Man. I knew it. I knew there would be some sort of tank infantry combo and putting a tank on top. See, an, an, a newber, a newber player, a, you know, not as talented player would probably put an infantry and try to cap that. He knows that you cannot attack a Von Bolt. Look, let's look at this trade right here. I barely do more than he does. 39 to 35 back. And then on his turn, he's going to have a lot harder hit. So, yeah, not a great trade. Alright, where are you gonna go? Front lines? I don't, I don't freaking know. Why not? Oh, you haven't capped either, you little dwingus. Okay, um... But I don't have the same thing where he has the tank in the forest. Oh, I can bust it out with an infantry. Now we talking. Yeah, we talking. I kind of want to have some backup for this infantry. If something hits the fan. This is tricky. I'm tempted to interrupt, but I also kind of want to back off because he's Von Bolt and he has stronger units. But that means I would be down an extra. My whole goal was to keep it equal, and I'm kind of failing at that goal. I ha that he doesn't have a recon. Maybe I can get some winning elsewhere. Maybe I can let him have the middle, consolidate, and then I take this top area over here. I don't want to force anything. Um, I don't want to force anything. I think I got to go for a B-copter. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him have it. You gotta be patient with Hawk. You can't just go all out. Hmm. Threaten that. I mean, all the units coming from there. Maybe I'll have some play up there. Who knows? Um. These two tanks do one hit KO that. That is kind of scary. Didn't see it yet, though. 
scary. And then I'm going to put my two artillery down here, just like he's going to put his two artillery over here, but I need to use my recon to attack before that. Um, does get an attack off. All right. I'll have to look for counterplay elsewhere. I've learned from my mistakes. Don't force a fight where you can't win. Just for the sake of it. Yeah, bye-bye infantry. Shit, now he isn't. Now he's vision on the tank, too. Oh, boy. And he sees the APC. He might just go double tank and attack right here. And then put the infantry on top. He's attacking my APC. That's a low blow. Yes. Yes! Live! Live! Oh, you freaking bastard. I still have vision for some reason. This must be the uh, the bug. Can't believe he killed my APC. That's that's a war crime, as far as I'm concerned. Geneva Convention? That ring a bell? My god. The APC wasn't doing anything wrong. I wonder if I can attack it with the bug. That'd be kind of fun. I can attack the tank, even though it's in the forest. Be pretty broken, but yeah, he's gonna get out. So I need to strike quickly. Oh boy. Okay, well I have three tanks over here, and uh, I don't know how many he has. He's a little overextended, so I have that working in my favor. Uh, let's see my stats. Three to zero. That's not great. <laughs> but you know. Okay. Um. I don't know what that was, I saw something though. It was a ghost. Um, yeah, a little rough. A little rough. Be we have another onlooker. Who the heck is... Who's the creeper? Who's the creeper? We have an onlooker. Okay, they're gone. Just a peeping Tom. Wanted a quick... A quick th thing. This is a kid's zone, I'm not saying anymore. This video is strictly for kids. If you're not under the age of four, what are you doing here? We only show weird Spider-Man stuff. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some vision. Gotcha, bitch. Is this? I hope it does. Okay. Have a little counterplay on the side. Yay. Small victories. Hashtag woke. It doesn't make any sense. What am I? Sorry, I lose my mind when I'm doing a live that didn't make <laughs> any sense whatsoever. Okay, I got the hooker over here. Gotta go. Hmm. Can I attack that? I think I can. Will I be trapped? That is a glitch, right? Let's see if I can exploit it. That'd be kind of cool. No, invalid. Damn. Uh, I guess I just kill some infantry then. Yeah. Hmm. Probably should kill at least two. Maybe three of them. Lucky. I want to have some terrain though. Like, if preferably I, I'm a, on a city or something. Um. Oh, he's not in the forest anymore. Shit, I should have been able to cap that. Alright, well, I have backup coming in. Overlap here. <laughs> I mean, you didn't hear that. Okay, I'm just gonna kill infantry. It's it's gonna become an infantry murder fest. And by murder fest, I just mean like two. Okay, you know I killed some infantry. Feeling pretty good about that. Put the hooker over there. Blast them out with the infantry. Oh, never mind. It takes one more. Hit. Now you're out. Just get it. Um. I have more kills now, right? 
Nope, equal. Get on my ABC too, which is a travesty. Mm. Do I build an anti air? What day is it? Day 11? It's past my time, so. Alright, we're building anti air. gonna he's gonna kill that tank that's gonna happen I'm a little worried about that but you know whatever we'll see is that oh sh messed up underlap you can't you can't play in perfect labors mr. dread all right so I need to capture this property Or this property. I need to somehow make some compensation for being behind one or two. Oh, he has vision on the tank now. Is it a two hit KO? Yeah, it is a two hit KO. Ugh, he has the Von Bolt two hit KOs from the tanks attacking on cities. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily for me, at least, it's in the middle of everything. Like, all of them have overlap. But it's always a guarantee to a kid, and it's gonna plop that tank on top, probably. No, just attack. All right, we are in. There is a lot of Tordred tanks. He's gonna attack there. Those two hit KOs are really unfortunate. I need to kill that because it's in the way. Fortunate, oh, man. The tanks just don't stop coming. There's not a single recon in there. I don't know if there's an APC even. I wasn't lying about the Tordred tanks thing. My notes are correct. Um, yeah. So I got one, two, three tanks. One, two, three. Little sneaky little schnugget. I need to act fast before. Oh hell no! I need to get this. You're not taking this from me. So I'll attack the one on the shoal. I got copter backup. Anti air backup, sort of. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can attack that. <sighs> this is tricky. Especially in live. Um. So you can see the day. Hum. hum. I have taken 26,000 in damage and only done 18,000. Yep, this is going about as well as I thought. I'm not out yet, though. I have some kind of play at the top. I guess I'll just start attacking things. I kind of wish this anti was a tank at this point, though. I feel like he doesn't even build copters. Torja just literally just builds tanks, and that's literally it. All right, you take this. Oh, I can't attack there, so all right. Hopefully, that's enough to hold down the fort. Um, yeah. Well, that's a good hit. Oh my god, look how many infantry there are. He doesn't have anything on the sides, no wonder. Maybe I could have attacked over there for all I know. Alright, you guys. I feel like I need recon support for that. He will maybe see that? Maybe I should lurk one space left. Back. Okay. So many infantry in the middle, my god. This is just 
turning into a brawl, which is exactly what he wants. And I don't really have many options here, else I'm going to be behind in income, so I guess I'll have to take the brawl. Okay. At least I sort of equalized the damage. Sort of. Still ahead. But I have my super. I'm basically relying on that at this point. Let's see if I can... Okay. Hmm. Medium take will take too long to get to the front lines. You know what? I think I should just triple tank. I'm just gonna triple tank. I need I need them to get to the front lines quickly. Should I just throw like these are gonna I feel like all my infantry are dying. Okay, okay, this is tough. Should I move here and block another attack on the tank? No, because he has two avenues right here. He's going to kill off this tank with the full one, seven, and then put another full HP tank there and kill off my seven. Jesus. Deejus. This is... <sighs> yeah, this is going to be a shorter game. This is not going to be a go seven game. We're playing quicker and uh, he's really abusing the Von Bolt. Two hit KOs on all cities. Infantry, two infantry, auto always 100% kill off another infantry, even on a city. Two tanks, always kill a tank, full HP tank on a city. Those are pretty nice, two hit KOs. It's better than one HP, because it allows a follow-up where you can bring another tank in and blast something with three defense stars. And he has so many infantry. I guess... Should I bring these to the middle? I guess I can throw that in there, but he'd probably notice. Um, that is tricky. Well, hopefully I get this thing, but then he's probably gonna put his artillery there and like blast me. If maybe if he, maybe at the very least he could lure a tank over. If he has a tank here, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, yeah, it would it would reach my recon. Tank plus infantry would one hit KO, no, two hit KO the recon, and then he would be able to trap the cap. If I get the cap, I'm running away, basically, and trying to lock it down. I wish I had an artillery I could, like, plant there, but I don't. Oh, well, both my artilleries are on my weak side. Um, yeah, he's probably calculating which tanks to murder first. Man, this is just a, a brawl. I don't know what I could have done differently. I guess I could have just... Because now he's going to bring a full HP attack and attack that 9 HP one and whittle it down to 2. What could I have done differently? I need to withdraw my weakened units too so they get healed by my super. But should I just have given him the middle? And lured for the... Um... Taken this and let him give him the middle and waited and uh, drawn out till a superpower. Like I feel like I shouldn't give up the middle, but at the same time his units are all stronger. Yeah, he's gonna get the one hit KO or two hit KO and then put another tank and kill that tank, which is devastating. Oh, he has less tanks than I thought. Maybe because he put one up here. Um. Huh. Okay, let's. Mildly better. Um, yeah, that's a bit rough. Oh, he has a copter? Oh, please don't tell me he has a tank, too. Okay, so I'm gonna get the cap, it seems, but I. <laughs> but, uh. He's gonna recap it very soon. Okay, at least I have this in position. I need to. How do I get vision of that stupid little tanky? Um, ah, man. At least I can put pressure on this one. I think I'll put one artillery up here. I don't think I'll have vision. I can check for vision first. Forest. 
Mm, I don't want to force. I could put it there and then try capping, but I feel like that's really forced. I kind of want to take a little more time. This goes up here to deal with the... Whatever the heck it's called. You guys need to run the hell away. Bye-bye, infantry. You're, you're, you're dead. Okay, I kind of lost track of a lot of crap. And this is not a two-hit KO, which would have been nice. This is where it really comes in. It kind of sucks. I really want to use this, but I know he has a freaking anti-air. What's my kill D KD looking like? 4-8. What the hell? I've lost three tanks. Yeah, that's not great. I could kill that. No, let's try that. Try that. Three hit KO, at least. It's annoying as hell, but at least it finally kills. I kind of want to just do that, but it won't work. It won't work. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to hide my copters for another turn just not to reveal my hand too quick. Should I put another one up here? Maybe for some... Nah, I need to go all in in the middle. Um, yeah, let's go here. And then... Oof. Top side a little quicker. I don't want to go through tanks again. I don't think that works all the time. I kind of want to just copter spam like the dickens. Um, and then I can bust out a neo tank eventually. Next turn, actually, I can bust out a neo tank. Yeah, I'm not going to bust this up yet. I'm going to slowly lure him a little bit, but if he attacks down here, we'll see it. So I'll slither over here. Uh, I'll move this over here. Mm. Get that prepared. Not looking great, but it could be worse. I'm relying on that superpower. Um, he's gonna kill that tank. Hope if, I mean, if he attacks there, stays there, I do have the, uh... Yeah, that's completely hopeless. I do have the artillery, though, locked down. Um... Bye-bye. Live. He's gonna finish off with an infantry, though. He knows about the scop. Um... And he got vision and oh, you hate to see it. And then he's gonna see the copter afterward too. Man, this is brutal. Ugh. Too many tanks, too many infantry, too many everything. Where are all these units coming from? I have no idea. Um yeah, that's just waiting, like, that city, that's just waiting for a hit. Maybe I should have put my artillery right there. At least I'm getting near my... I'm ha I will have nothing to use my superpower on, what the hell? Oops. Get out of here. Alex, the fiction. Get out of here. What the hell? Freaking AI machine learning shit beating me. Don't like that. Ugh. I'm gonna have no freaking units to even enjoy, relish my uh, superpower. Freaking dready. Freaking dready.
Yeah, okay, yeah. The super, I need a good superpower or else the game's over. It's already looking incredibly rough. I say my chances of winning are about 15%. It's not looking good. I'm being brutally honest with myself. I can try to push something over here. Um, I mean, I can try. I, I know for a fact there's probably an infantry in that. Oh, whatever. Why not? Whatever. Like, what are these little dingbats gonna. Alright, forget. At least they didn't get trapped there. That would have sucked. Um. Yeah. Alright. Freaking things everywhere. And he's got the infantry walls and fog. Man. It's next level shit. I do not enjoy it. Alright, where is it? That copter probably went down, too. Yeah, I'm not falling for the oldest trick in the book. I kind of have to let him keep it, too. Alright, we're getting a Neo just for the golf balls. The golf balls out there. I don't, yeah, I think Neo, in this case, I need to get it to the front lines quicker than a medium tank can. I... I can't even get freaking vision on that stupid sh and I'll get... Nah, man, this is... Oh, yeah. I feel like all these infantry are just going to the meat grinder. What can I... That's all I can say right now. I can just sigh like that. All right, we're I mean, one copter's probably gonna die to a thing anyway, whatever. Get the heck out of here, you stupid tank. At least that died. All right, well, that one is HP infantry. I have no units that are gonna enjoy this superpower. At least it'll do damage to him. Oh, lord. This is rough. Maybe I should have given myself a handicap. Maybe. Where are all these units coming from? That's what I'd like to know. How does he have more units in the middle and down here? Simultaneously. Freaking nine deaths behind. Well, I'm sure he has some insight. I don't, th I don't think he ever bought an APC. He didn't have to buy a single recon. It was just freaking tanks and infantry. Tanks and infantry. I don't even know if... And, and a copter, apparently. And an artillery. Uh, that's it. Oh my god. Yeah, one copter down. Well, I have my superpower. Is it gonna matter, though? I'm getting freaking massacred. Oh my god. This is rough. Well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you dance around on my HQ, will ya? What the heck? I'm gonna not have anything to heal! And what the... This is the biggest beatdown I've had in a long time. Oh lord, have mercy on my soul. I don't even know what the hell to do, I might just resign. But I want to get the super off. <laughs> I have 19 units. How many freaking units do you got? You got 34 units. I've got 19, he's got 34. Actually probably more because he just pumped out some more units there, probably 37. So I'm looking at half the units. I'll do another turn just for the old college try, but this is freaking brutal. Uh, ah. Alright, you little... Uh, I don't know what word to use anymore. I'm just brain dead from losing. Get out of here. Salvage the reputation. I don't even have vision to kill the tank and he knew it. I was going to bring this copter over for vision, but like... 
Ugh, okay, well. Let's kill this copter. How am I gonna kill that anti-air though? How am I gonna kill the anti-air? Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. That was nice at least. Please kill this stupid little infantry. It won't kill. Gosh dang nabbit. Alright, well. I tried. Hmm. There is 100% something in that woods. But if there isn't, I'll be happy. Well, this is demoralizing. I don't mind losing, but this is pretty bad. <laughs> This is pretty bad. I don't know where the thing's gonna hit. I'm gonna create a freaking ball of. Kill that, I guess. Alright, where's that ball gonna strike? Probably my Neo Tank? Unless I create like a. Uh... Well, I tried. I get the artillery doesn't do jack shit. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Probably gonna go right here, maybe? No, that's only twenty to one hundred, it'll probably go right there. Neotank? Oh. That's even worse. Now those are all dead. And he had another one too. Okay, I'm resigning next turn. This is this is too much. This is too much. I need to reevaluate my life choices after this. Feels like I'm playing stockfish and chess. Like I just don't have a chance. I uh, I needed a I needed a handicap. I I want my handicaps back. I, I, I look forward to when Tordred plays Go 7. This is just... I don't know what my options were. Give him the center. And like just let him have an income lead. Um, and like... Has a 4k advantage and then I like stall it out. I tried the little up thing up here but I guess I should have had more forces there. I don't know. Maybe I should have captured this earlier. Maybe I should have sent my infantry there first before going down here. Uh, I just, um, seems like a lose-lose. Don't really know what I could have done. But I, I, bought, I built a golf ball. So, you take those little victories. I don't know why, sometimes I look at the mic like I'm talking to someone. Yeah, you take those victories, you know what I mean? <laughs> So quiet in here. I'm lonely. No, I'm just talking. Uh, this, for some reason, this little orb thing kind of reminds me of like a human head. Don't you think? Uh, <laughs> you guys are right here. Uh, yeah, I'm resigning. Just build your pipe runners or whatever, man. I'm getting a neo tank kill though. Yeah. Here's DG. Get some pity kills. Not even. Get out of here. Give me that pity kill. Yeah, I'm just gonna resign. Oh yeah. That was bad. That was bad. Jesus. Six tanks. One copter. I killed two tanks! Oh, well, it is time to talk to Mr. Dread about his thoughts for the game. I'm curious what he has to say. All right, so that was the game. I got massacred. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I knew what you were going to do. At the same time, I still let it happen to me. <laughs> yeah, the, oh, the death ball approach down the center. I just, my note for the viewers before is you're a tank guy. You don't build recons, you don't build ABCs, you just build tanks, tanks, tanks. 
and I don't, you didn't build a recon. I think all you built was tanks, infantry, an occasional anti-air and copter. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, I didn't build any. I didn't tech up at all. Just keep it the light swift. Vehicles. See, I knew it was coming, but it still didn't work out for me. Um, so, yeah, that was bad. I, my thing was, you're going to get the center because you get the two-hit KOs on the tanks, and I can't really hold the cities very well. But what is my counterplay, though? As a Hawk player, I can't get those two-hit KOs. What... What do you think you would have done there in that? Would you have fallen back and given up the center and gone for a, a side attack or something? Uh, I think you just have to, like... I think the bottom, where I started, like, uh, sending units out of that base at the bottom... Yeah. I think that is more the strong side for each player. So I think just play to your strong side, because you had the units taking a little bit of extra travel time, I think, to get to that oh, okay. location. So. I think I actually had an advantage, and I also think that while the APC gets you a lot of uh, income value, I, I don't, I'd have to look back and see, but I bet you had an income lead for quite a large part of the game. But I think having the early tanks let me pressure the center. Like, I got that free kill on the infantry that came up, I got to kill the APC. You see, and yeah, I had a game versus Go7 a while ago, and the same thing happened. Uh, he interrupted that one city that you interrupted. I won the top. I like took over his the same tower I took over with you, but it, like I feel like it just I, I did it on replay. Like just too many tanks in the center and just got clobbered. Uh, so you think I should have fallen back closer to my base? Yeah, I think if you're gonna, you, you sort of went into the death ball like right where I was. But if you were like maybe pressuring the top center city while I was pressuring the bottom one. Uh, you might have been able to put like some more infantry walls up because gotcha. I think a large part of when I was getting nice trades was I was able to like hide the tanks in forest and only allow like one shot to them. Yeah, like, that's true. Infantry. And uh, yeah, and, and just sitting on top of the cities as well. Very frustrating because I can't use the cities to my own advantage. Um, but and also like, yeah, it was just really tough. Uh, and then you suddenly had that copter up the top when I thought I finally was able to have some sort of you know, no, I wouldn't say comeback, but like some sort of compensation for all the units I lost. <laughs> yeah, a little extra pressure where I couldn't, like, since I had all my units moving towards the center, I couldn't pressure. Yeah, there. just the amount, the sheer amount of infantry in the center kind of caught me off guard. Like, there were so many infantry. They got so many kills that my own infantry just died. Yeah, uh, and if you look at the replay, you'll see that I abandoned both sides of, like, almost no infantry. The replay is really janky, but I'm going to try to see. So you took the top and then you abandoned? Oh, yeah, you moved them down. Or back. I moved them all towards the center. Oh and then I God. left three infantry on the bottom corner. Yeah, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight infantry in the center, and I had four. So it was a two-to-one advantage. Okay, I see that's where it differed. I should have brought mine from the weak side, I suppose. Made it six. Um, also, yeah, the APC slowed me down. I mean, it got me more funds quicker. You can, like, see in the replay I got funds a bit quicker, but I also was down one vehicle. Um, which you were able to take advantage of with the extra tank. And basically, I feel like that snowballed. Like, you have the extra tank. Mm -hmm. Your tanks are stronger to begin with. And four stronger tanks for three slightly weaker tanks is not going to end <laughs> well. Yeah. And with the sort of like death ball -y kind of strategy, once I lock you in an engagement, if you run away from it, then you've already taken like a good couple tank hits. Yeah. And then if you do engage back into it, then you're still going to be down tanks. And it's kind of like the, uh, the sunk cost fallacy. Like, I've already lost so much, I can't just walk away from that. Yeah. And yeah, it's tricky. Okay, well, I guess I'll s try to stay on your side and mirror pressure on these other properties over here at the top. Yeah, that was brutal. Um, the KD was not not good. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at it throughout the match. I was like, oh, wow. I lost like, up, like, so kills. many infantry. It was like the tanks are one thing, but the infantry <laughs> was just brutal. Like you had, I, I needed to shift seat. I understand front shifts, I'm pretty decent at it, but one thing you mentioned to me, and, and Go7 also mentioned to me, when you front shift, you need to shift your infantry too. 
Because a lot of times I front shift and maybe I'm winning, but then I can't capture anything. Even though they take three movement and they take forever to move, you should also be front sh uh, shifting infantry as well. And uh, I feel like this is a good example of why. <laughs> Just murdered all mine. I think they also have a great use on the front line when you... Because you don't want to attack infantry with your vehicles, right? Yeah, you had a good infantry wall for a Fog of War game. That was pretty impressive infantry wall. Like, uh... Turn, like, I don't know, 14? Yeah, it's like, what? I can't even break that. Because <laughs> my, yeah, my infantry helped. can't even two-hit KO your infantry for the most part, unless they're, like, maybe on a planes as a roll. But, like, yeah, it was yeah, that, tricky. That's one of the really good, strong points of Von Bolt, is that it's really hard to secure those two-hit KOs without, like, some sort of luck roll. Yeah. So you can't consistently do it. And the thing is, like, damage is one thing, but you were kept killing off my units because you knew about the superpower. It felt like Andy, like, oh, I'm going <laughs> to repair all my dead, dying units. And, like, they'd all just died, so I had, like, nothing <laughs> to repair. I was like, well, I'm dead. Like, there's no shot. But, yeah, jeez, okay. Well, duly noted, do not fight the death ball of a Von Bolt when you do not have the, uh... The, if you have a greater distance, okay, and also shift the infantry. I'm trying to take some notes home of how to improve on this. I th yeah, the APC, I, I think it was a good opening. Maybe it's not a great opening versus Von Bull. Maybe I should have just yeah. done mono a mono and had some tanks versus tanks. Um, APC maybe a better pick versus the more passive CO, like, I don't know. I guess the, none of the tier ones are very passive, but. No, I think if you do, I think the AVC opening can work. I think you just need to like be fine with like only going for like one property and like focusing all your vehicles away from where you expect vehicles, which is also sort of a difficult task because you don't really know until you first see them and then they've already done damage. Yeah, like when I was, I was like, okay, so all these units are either going to be in the corner or in the middle. So I was unsure with which one you would pick. And then I saw the infantry in the forest or whatever, seeing my capping infantry, I'm like, yep, it's the middle. And then from there, I think it was a little too late. <laughs> I mean, I was able to divert all my tanks and stuff. But my All my stuff was originally going to the top. And then I saw that you had that infantry there, and I shifted it immediately to the center. But yeah, okay. Need to focus on that. Yeah, the APC, I, it's good if you... I feel like you expected the APC, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I was considering the APC opening myself, and then I thought, I was thinking maybe you might send a recon down to the bottom corner. Okay. And I was trying, so I was trying to position some tanks so that if you did hit any of the infantry, I like put them on sort of like roads or planes, hoping for a hit, and then I could tank hit and kill it with an infantry. Yeah, I feel like the power behind the APC is that your opponent doesn't know when you use it, so they don't know when to punish it. But on this yeah. map, I feel like it's so good that. You knew how to punish it, me for it. You probably expected it, and then you did punish me for it. So, yeah, keep, you got to keep your cards close to your chest. But uh, well, that was a nice spanking. I always need a good, uh, <laughs> good beating once in a while to keep my ego intact, or not intact, but not inflated. So, uh, thanks for the game. I appreciate it. Uh, yes, no problem. It's fun time. Yeah. So, okay. Next time, I may need a handicap. <laughs> <laughs> I got one versus go, you know, so you never know. Yeah, you never know. All right, well, thanks, Tordred. Thanks for joining. I hope uh, you viewers, you learned a lot from this map. You know how to address this map. You know what to do if you have the APC. You know what to do if you don't go for the APC and you want to go for pressure. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.